Tom Oliphant, you come back here to your home circuit, hot, well, not hot off the heels of a Brands Hatch win, that was five weeks ago, uh, but seemingly with the same kind of form, it all looked pretty hooked up again in uh, uh, first practice. Yeah, um, obviously coming off Brands, uh, I loved every second of that. I needed a good weekend and uh, to get a, a win in a third was um, just what I needed points-wise to throw me back into sort of a championship contention. But um, coming into Walton Park, it's, it's always a nice one for me. It's my home race, so I really look forward to it. It's fantastic to have the fans back as well. Um, and FP1 was just, uh, just one of those sessions, you know, wet, then dry, then wet, then dry, and then wet again. Um, I think I got the fastest time on my first lap um, out and then I think a couple of people kind of came close towards the end. It really was a session of who was out on the best tyre at the right time but um, yeah, when it was actually wet and we were on wet, uh, the car felt really good, nice and consistent and um, yeah, I think we've got a good package coming in uh, to late today. A pretty key weekend for the team, obviously for your uh, title ambitions and, and, and the fact that you want to get as, as, as close as possible to the title battle. But has he got a feeling of sort of make or break for Colin and the other side of the garage? I don't think so. You know, it's only round four. Um, there's a lot of racing to carry on and, and go through this season and, and a lot of stuff will happen. You know, this is touring car racing. So I think for me personally, I just want to build on what I did at Brand. So, you know, another 30, 35 pl points plus round for me would just solidify my sort of championship contention rights, I suppose. Um, try and move it maybe up to third or fourth in the championship to go into Knock Hill. Um, but, you know, Ingram and Sutton are a little way away from everybody. So, you know, it will rely on them having a little bit of a poor weekend for us to try and close that gap. But you just never know. Um, but the team are feeling confident and I don't think it's any different to a normal race weekend, really. I think we'll go out there and try and give it our best. And Colin's got a great track record around here. I wouldn't be surprised if he... Uh, if he did win two races and, and become the all-time uh, best winner around this track in touring cars. Well, all the best to you and give your local fans something to cheer in particular. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Thank Cheers, you. Tom.